Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change a Facebook video thumbnail. So let's open up the web browser. And normally when you upload a video to Facebook, uh, you should see your videos listed here, right? You've got videos written here. You can also click on this tab here to see all of the videos that you have. So this is a custom thumbnail that I've created best free keyword research tool for 2019. And this one here, top 10 tips for improving your website. This particular one doesn't have a thumbnail generated for it yet. So if I click on you, uh, videos here, videos, if I scroll down, you'll see that these two here have custom thumbnails, but this one doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this particular video. Let's just pause it. And I'm gonna click on this drop down and go to edit video here, edit video. So when I go to edit video, there's an option here to add a thumbnail. And as default, um, YouTube, or so should I say Facebook, will select one of these default thumbnails. It's gonna auto generate the thumbnail, right? So I wanna use a custom one. So I'm gonna click on add image. If we quickly go to my desktop, I've already prepared a thumbnail here. So this is the thumbnail that I want to use uh, on that particular video. So let's go back to the web browser. We'll click on add image here, and then we'll go to my desktop and let's find that, uh, where is it, Facebook here. We'll select this thumbnail and we'll click open. Now you can see the custom thumbnail here and I'm gonna click the save button. So if I close this, if I go back here, what I need to do is really refresh this page, reload it, and we should see that new custom thumbnail here now for that particular video. So now you can see the top 10 tips for improving your business website. So it's always worth uploading a custom thumbnail, one that is a bit more eye-catching, one that's a bit more engaging with the user, especially on Facebook and on YouTube, you should be doing the same on both of them. I've already done a tutorial showing you how to do custom thumbnails on, on YouTube. So if you check my YouTube channel, you should be able to see that there. But here you can see the custom thumbnail and all of my videos that I upload to Facebook or YouTube, they all have these custom thumbnails and you just get better engagement. People can, you know, it just visually looks better than rather than uh, Facebook or YouTube just randomly picking a thumbnail for you, which may not really convey the full message. So that's how you go about adding a custom thumbnail to your Facebook videos. Now, if you want to change that thumbnail, you can repeat the same process, but just go and create a different thumbnail and just follow that same procedure and you can change it to a different thumbnail as well. Let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's close this. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.